Thank you for watching Stitch and Jenny. Today we'll be focusing on making self mitered napkin corners. You're going to need to prepare your fabric and cut your napkin fabric one inch larger than your desired finished size. For instance, if you want an 18 inch napkin, then cut out a 19 inch square. Next, you'll use the iron to press a half inch hem around all four sides of your napkin fabric. Once that's done, unfold those hems and measure two inches from each corner and put a chalk mark. Once you have your marks that are two inches away from the corner, connect those marks with a diagonal line using some kind of a straight edge. I'm using the seam gauge. Actually, my friend is using the seam gauge. Diagonal line, ta-da! Now we're recreasing the fold and marking where the half inch crease is. It's gonna help, you'll see. So now you see we have from two inches from the corner we have a mark, two inches from the other corner we have a mark, and then we have a diagonal line drawn, and then we have a mark that's where the half inch creases are. Now fold your fabric right sides together on the corner, aligning the raw edges, and finger press that corner fold. Isn't she doing a great job? I like to put a straight pin to hold the fabric together to keep it from shifting. And I'm also gonna have her put a pin in that little half inch mark. We just don't want the fabric to shift or move at this point. We're gonna sew from that folded corner, that folded crease, down to where the half inch mark is, where that pin is, and then we're gonna back stitch. Here we are aligning that chalk mark underneath the needle. We're gonna sink the needle in a little bit away from the folded edge. We're gonna back stitch up to the folded edge. Back stitching, back, back, back. Now we're gonna sew forwards up to that pin, which is where the half inch crease is. Notice she took the pin out. Don't sew over your pins. You're asking for trouble. Dun, da, 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 almost there. And she, of course she just nailed it. Stopping at the exact spot she meant to stop. And now she's going to backstitch. Just like four or five stitches backwards is really all you need. The next thing is to cut a quarter inch seam allowance away that extra triangle gets to get chopped off and then we can cut this corner as well don't cut too close to your stitches you don't want it to bust next we want to turn that right side out and use a point turner to help us shape out the corner and then we need to turn under that half inch fold of fabric on all four sides, all four corners. And then you can press that and you can pin that down so that you can sew close to the edge. That's the one I made for the sample in class. As you can see, I pivoted at the corners. It looks so pretty on the front and it looks pretty on the back. And then here's the one my friend did. Dun, da, da, da. She did a great job. Thank you so much for letting me film you during class. Thanks for watching Stitch and Jenny. Find more videos at stitchandjenny.com.